Indeed, our national health system and the resilience which were tested to the health. Countless lessons we learned and continuously improvements put in place. Kahit anong crisis ay kaya malampasan kung tunay na may malasakit at bayanihan. I agree. At the early stages of the pandemic, our testing capacity was very limited, recognizing the importance of conducting more tests to ensure early detection and timely isolation of confirmed COVID-19 cases. We ramp up our testing capacity. We now have more than 260 accredited laboratories nationwide, which is still capable of conducting at least 50,000 tests daily. All regions now can conduct their own COVID-19 tests. To take care of mild and asymptomatic cases, we established over 9,000 temporary treatment and monitoring facilities across the country, with a total bed capacity of more than 140,000. Together with the local government and the private sector, we quickly established mega quarantine facilities that could accommodate more cases. Modular, modular hospitals and quarantine facilities you have also been established nationwide, especially in Metro Manila. For our severe COVID cases, our tireless health workers will continue to ensure that you are provided with the best care around the clock based on the latest development global best practices. Our health experts continue to actively participate in the search for safe and effective COVID-19 medicines. With the help of Congress, I never said, wala kang mag ito ay, that I, I develop cost the, the reconstruction of a, of a bridge that is nowhere to be found today. With the help of Congress, we passed 13 measures that established new, improve, the new and improved the capacity of existing hospitals around the country to provide quality care and services. Our people, especially amid the ongoing pandemic 19. This includes establishing new medical facilities in Mandaluyong City, Bacolod, and Davao Occidental, increasing bed capacities to existing health facilities. In Quezon City, Ilocosur, La Union, and Palawan, the upgrading of health facilities in that area to include Leyte. Currently, we have received over 30 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines. We expect at, to at least uh, receive 36 million vaccines this month, and in August, we have inoculated more than 7 million Filipinos, which have received the first dose at least 17 million. Well, I think the, the landscape, the, the health landscape of the country continues to improve as we, you know, with the continuous approval of COVID-19 vaccines, we are ready to boost further our daily vaccina vaccination rate. And I also, encourage our local government units to hasten their all out and strength their inoculation program. San Juan City, for one, have vaccinated 70% of their population in a month's time. Saludo ako sa inyo at kay Mayor Zamora. <laughs>